In this video, we're gonna take a look at what is YouTube Premium and the biggest YouTube Premium benefits right now, and whether or not it's actually worth paying that monthly YouTube subscription fee, whether you're a regular viewer or a content creator. So for those of you who aren't aware, yes, YouTube does have a monthly subscription fee. It is totally optional, it is definitely not required. And in terms of who it's actually good for, that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So for context, let's take a look at how much it costs, and then we can dive into all the features. So at the time of filming this video, you can currently sign up to YouTube Premium with a one month free trial, and it's gonna cost you then $11.99 per month after that. Now that is for a single account. There is also a family plan available as well, which lets you add up to five additional accounts, so six in total. So you're talking a similar ballpark to Netflix, Disney, Amazon, those sorts of services. But what YouTube offers is a little bit different. The main reason that most people will sign up for YouTube Premium is to watch YouTube without ads. Now I'm gonna tell you, I was a little bit skeptical at first about signing up because ads on YouTube, they've been there for a very long time. We're all used to clicking that skip button to jump straight to the content, but having YouTube premium and just not having any ads, it is absolutely amazing. It is a totally different experience and I find that I spend a lot more time on the platform and enjoy my time a lot more on the platform just not having to watch ads. The way I like to look at it is you're essentially buying back your time for a small monthly fee. You can jump straight into the content, get the information you need, or sit back and be entertained without being interrupted constantly by ads. But that's not all you get access to in your subscription. You also get access to YouTube Music, which is essentially YouTube's answer to Spotify. Now, back when that first launched, I found it pretty buggy. There were lots of music tracks and things that I couldn't find on there, but it's actually come a really long way and it's now what I use for music across my devices. So you get access to the premium level of YouTube Music as well. So again, no ads, and that alone will cost you $9.99 99 per month just for that. Now included, you also get access to YouTube Originals, which is some exclusive or unreleased or restricted content on the platform. Now this is where shows like Cobra Kai were first released, which is now available out on Netflix. But outside of that, in my opinion, there's really not too much in there that is grabbing my attention. I really don't find myself ever going there to look for something to consume because there's enough great stuff on YouTube without even needing to go in there. But two other included features and big draw cards for YouTube Premium as far as I'm concerned are downloadable videos and background play. Now download videos is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can download or offline YouTube video content to watch when you're offline. And when you're traveling around, you don't have internet. This is perfect if you're going on a flight. Recently, I went on a family vacation. Instead of downloading and offlining some Netflix shows or some from another platform, I literally just offlined YouTube videos and that's what I watched for the flight. And it really is as simple as just finding the videos you wanna watch later and hit the little download button when you have a YouTube premium subscription. Then to play them back, when you open up the app, you wanna go down to library down the bottom right-hand corner and there is a section in there with all of your downloaded videos. And the second one, background play and picture in picture, this allows you to turn off your phone screen and still have YouTube videos or YouTube music playing. So it plays in the background without your phone screen needing to be on. Or maybe you're switching between different apps. It's not gonna stop that video playback if you've got this feature. And this picture in picture support, meaning that if you are using another app full screen, then you can have a minimized version of your YouTube content playing, and you can overlay that on top of any other apps you're using on your device. Now, first, this is something that I really wouldn't use too much, but it's actually something that I do use all the time. So a great example, I've been experimenting, laying in bed at night, listening to some guided meditations. And what this means is I can actually turn my phone screen off that I'm actually using to play the YouTube video so that my screen isn't lighting up the room. So background play, letting you play with your phone screen off and your phone essentially locked. So you're not gonna knock it, you're not gonna touch anything. It gives a pretty good experience. So those are the features of what's included in a YouTube premium subscription. Now, one more thing that YouTube has come out with recently as a test. So this isn't official, this isn't final. They are testing 4K video content being restricted and only accessible for those people that do have a YouTube premium subscription, meaning that if you're just on a free YouTube account, you can access everything up to 4K, but all the 4K stuff you'd need to have a subscription for. So again, it's not locked in stone yet. It is something that they are testing apparently. So it'd be interesting to see where they land with this. So is YouTube Premium worth it? Do you need it? No, you absolutely do not need it. It is not a requirement, but is it worthwhile? Yeah. I personally think it is. I'm someone who hates sitting through and watching ads and waiting to consume the video that I clicked on. And again, that experience of where you click on a video and it just plays and it happens for every video, 
it's an amazing experience. And if you spend a lot of time on the platform like I do, then having that better experience is amazing, but also you're essentially buying your time back. So for that piece, for the ad removal alone, that is enough for me to justify the expense. But also that you're given access to YouTube Music Premium and you get the background play and the picture in picture play as well. I really do personally think that it is a no brainer. Now, for those of you that are thinking about YouTube ads and making money on YouTube and how does this affect that? Well, you can actually still make money from people watching your videos with a YouTube Premium subscription too. So it's not that you're not making any money from those people, it's just treated a little bit differently. So a percentage of all the YouTube Premium subscriptions is shared amongst creators who do have views from viewers that are watching that do have YouTube Premium. So it's kind of like a pool of money that is divided up against the channels that are monetized that have video plays that are from people who have a YouTube Premium subscription. So yes, you can definitely still make money from your videos if people are watching them with a YouTube Premium subscription. So it's not like you're just using an ad blocker or something, it's actually tracked and the content creator actually still gets rewarded from you watching their videos. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments, are you already using YouTube Premium? Are you now considering it? Or is there no way that you're going to give YouTube money to watch free YouTube videos. Now for me, running the day-to-day -day stuff of Primal Video, there is one tool that runs my life. Check out the video linked on screen because this tool is an absolute game changer and it's totally changed the way that I do things. See you in there.